Hi there, my name is Joe and this is Guitar 101 Fundamentals. By guitar, I'm obviously talking about one of these things. By fundamentals, these are things that every guitarist should know. Fact. The word fundamental contains two words, fun and mental. As far as understanding how music actually works, the best starting point is the C major scale. Why? Because it's the standard that all other scales are compared to. Check this out. The notes of the C major scale are C, D, E, F, G, A, B. In theory, we oftentimes use numbers in place of those letters. The formula for the major scale in any key is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's the kind of thing an idiot would have on his luggage! So you can either try to learn all of this, or you can just remember this. A lot easier, isn't it? Now let's look at it on the guitar. First we'll look at it on one string to look at the pattern. Five, six, seven, one. Notice there's no space in between the three and the four, or between the seven and the one. This is the case for the major scale on any key. Now let's look at the popular open C major scale shape. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now replace with tone numbers and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. To get a major chord, you simply combine the first, the third, and the fifth tones in any order. From there, you can add additional first, third, and fifth tones. But either way, you have a major chord. You can even use this pattern and change key. It's literally that simple. We'll build more on this in the next lesson. So you got through the first lesson and hopefully you learned something. In part two of this lesson, we'll be learning a very important concept called the cage sequence, so you don't want to miss this. If this video was helpful, let me know by doing this, this, and make sure to do this. Well, I'm all out of time for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.